Okay, today we're going to install a Morimoto D2S 4.0 projector into this Chevy Silverado 2500 headlight. This also works in the Chevy Silverado 1500 uh, LTZ style headlights. So the first thing you want to do, inspect your projector once you get it out of the packaging. Make sure your lens is all in good shape, nothing got damaged during shipping. I'd suggest you wear some gloves. You don't want to get fingerprints all over these lenses. Um, so be careful with that. The first thing that we want to do is remove the OEM projector. I've already done that. Um, speed things up. You do that with a T20 driver. There's one, two, three, four screws that hold that in. You're going to want to save those screws. We're going to use those. Uh, we're going to use those, two of those, the top two, for the installation of this projector. Go ahead and unclip the low beam plug. We're going to use that as well. I also took the top, uh, the high beam cap off because we're going to install a splitter for this projector because it is a bi-xenon projector. So we're going to go ahead and get that working as well. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and get our, our bulb in place. Get that screwed in tight. I also removed this plug adapter. We're going to set that to the side for a minute. I'll show you what to do with that. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and we're going to um, put the plug on the end of this bi-xenon shutter because we're going to hook that to our splitter here. So this has some teeth to it here. And what we're going to do is those teeth are going to face inward. Let's snap it in. we got the same thing on this side. Snap that in if you need to. You can always pull it through some needle nose pliers. Make sure you get them all the way through so they're snapped in place. All right, a little tug. Seat these grommets. So that's all set. All right, in your kit, you're going to have two little black brackets. The flat side of them is going to face the back. You're also going to have some screws. I went ahead and put those screws in already. These screws are going to what are going to go into the bottom two uh, spots that hold the projector. This hole here lines up with the hole that is on the projector. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get that installed with the screw that's provided. Phillips head screwdriver to get it going. Make sure you get the nut on the back. down good can even go squish right into that plastic helps from uh, having it back out on you at all should look just like that once it's assembled. All right, at this point, we're going to go ahead and get this projector mounted in. So the first thing we want to do is take the screws that you took out initially from the top or the bottom, doesn't really matter. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get this upper inner one going. It's the most difficult one to reach. We're going to get it started. All right, just enough so it doesn't come out. Okay. The other one in the, um, actually, excuse me, we'll hold on to that one. 
Now what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and get the projector going in there and we're going to get that upper one set it up against there and then we're going to take and do the upper outer one the reason you keep this loose makes it easier to get the screw started now this one we're going to tighten it right down go ahead and do the same thing over here and tighten that one right down Tighten them down totally yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these bottom ones going. Nice and tight. Anytime I work on these projectors, uh, these headlights doing this, I would suggest that you do it so they're upright, not facing down. Uh, facing down they might, there we go. It's tight. We'll go ahead and make sure this one's tight. But if uh, they were facing lens down and you were to drop a screw, it's going to fall towards the front of the headlight. Um, could get stuck there. Probably not. You'd probably be able to shake it out. But all right, so that projector's in there. One, two, three, four screws are tight. That's not going anywhere. You will have to make a uh, adjust your headlight once you get this back in the the vehicle. It will change the height of it just a little bit, but. With this screw here you can um, easily readjust that now what we want to do is we're going to take this cap now i already drilled a uh, one inch hole there with a step bit i'm going to take this is the low beam plug that initially was threaded through was inserted through here i pulled it through i'm going to go ahead and feed those wires through then i'm going to go ahead and put them back through here a little bit of a pain getting them back through here. There we go. That's through there. And then what we will do is we'll feed these through. These are the HID bulbs. And we'll pull that grommet through. Okay. And there's that. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the bi-xenon shutter hooked up so we can get high beam. We're going to get our... Low, what was our low beam plugged into our adapter here, which is going to go to our HID ballast. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got those wires pulled through over here. We're going to go ahead and black wire to black pin. Now I did snip these down just a little bit, file them down so they would fit in here nice and snug. All right. I'm going to go ahead and insulate that, make sure it stays there. Now you can, you can cut this plug off, cut this end off, and you can just, um, you could solder the wires together or um, you can uh, twist them together and then, you know, electric tape. Whatever you do, just make sure it's a good, it's a good connection. Um, HIDs require good connections. So if it's loose, it's not, it's probably gonna cause you problems. So. I'll pick on my uh, electrical wiring job here. I wasn't doing this on camera. Let's slow down a little bit. It's a little sloppy, so do a better job than I just did there. Okay, but the low, low beam to this connection here. Next is going to be this bi-xenon. we're going to do is we're going to take one end here. We're going to plug that in. Doesn't matter. What color it clips in and then what we do is we feed the rest down through here down through to the bottom we take undo our high beam bulb plug into here and then we should have one other end right here we're going to plug that back in 
down here. Now that's your high beam splitter. It's going to give you high beam. Tuck these wires back in here. Okay. And at this point, you go ahead and put your cap back on, pull these wires through. And that's it. No modification to this cap, none down here. You're ready to hook up your HID. Okay, so here's your Hilux ballast. Sticking out of the back of your light, you should have your two amp plugs and this wire here, which goes to your, your, goes to your low beam. This is going to act as the input trigger wire for your ballast. So the first thing you do is you're going to have positive negative, and you have positive negative written here, and the clips should line up just like that goes into your air canceller. Now there's a ground wire on here. Once you get this installed in the truck, you should ground this somewhere. And then on the output side of the ballast, you have two amp plugs. So plug it in here. Plug in here. All right. Now at this point, everything's hooked up. You should go over to your truck and plug in this plug and test all the functionality of your lights. Make sure your high beams work, your low beam works, make sure your signals work, make sure nothing got messed up while you were working all this. Um, you're gonna wanna mount this ballast somewhere inside of your truck. Um, there's plenty, there's three screw holes that you can, you can mount this uh, with.